Reese here with Adore Her Beauty back with another video and we have a new client alert. So before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you so much for participating in my poll and A&D won. Majority won. They voted for A&D, which is longer videos with commentary. So if you feel you're going to be bored or you just want to watch with the volume down, by all means turn the volume down because I'm going to talk pretty much throughout this entire video. As you can see, I've already got started with the first strip, but some things that I wanted to say in the initial space that was left for this intro is that she has three weeks worth of growth here, and as you can see, the hairs are really short. So jump on the train. I'm about to give some education and some tips on how to wax short hair, and just kind of let you know or just share with you my thought processes when it came to waxing this type of hair like short hair so as you can see i'm adding a second layer of wax my initial thought was like you know her hair doesn't look super thick of course but you know i better double up on the wax because sometimes it will stretch the wax uh, this is easy wax that i'm using the tumerica horror wax and so with the double lay technique it just helps to solidify that strip and you'll see later on in the video where i did not add a double a and it caused the wax to stretch so here's her wax strip and as you can see she has the bow she has the sheath and you know to say that her hair is so short this wax is really great at getting those short stubborn hairs and because her hair is short as you can see i'm applying against the growth and then i'm going back with that same strip and stretching it back with the growth so if you're new here tuning in welcome what this does is just get the wax um coated all around the hair underneath the hair and on top of the hair and it's basically just kind of shrink wrapping the wax product around the hair which helps for an easy removal so when people say you have to wait four weeks you know five weeks or getting it at a certain length that is true but this technique helps to get it shorter because you know or you you may experience hertzism or you may have someone in your family who has hertzism and it's very hard to let the hair grow out most cannot even complete this first step so as an esthetician if you're paying attention as a waxer if you're watching this video you want to find those techniques to kind of help them not have to go through that struggle of waiting to grow the hair out so for her this was three weeks i've done it at two weeks does it make more work yeah it's a little bit more um challenging but it's definitely possible to wax it at two weeks this technique really does work and i'm just kind of zooming in and showing how much hair is left after each strip and again the wax i'm sorry the hair grows in layers so it looks real short it looks like she doesn't have anything there but she actually has about two to three layers of hair so once you remove the top layer and the second layer there's still hair underneath those layers that have to be removed um i try to keep my wax strips at a minimum of three lays as a matter of fact well really a minimum of two lays but if i have to do a third lay i will because and i'm going to show you a little later in this video exactly what it can do when we get to the other side but you can risk lifting the skin so here what i'm doing is taking my finger and just trying to see are these hairs underneath the skin or are they just really short because again they are short so when i you know tested it with my fingers i couldn't tell so i had to grab my tweezers and see if i'm able to lift the hairs up and once i determined that hey these hairs are not underneath the skin they're actually above the surface of the skin it's just that they are very short and they're lying close with the skin so when the hairs are lying parallel with the skin the wax will go right over it and it will just not cover it so what you have to do again is that reverse lay and as you can see right here i'm pushing into her skin and i let them know hey it's gonna be a little pressure right here i want them to understand that i'm not trying to hurt them but i'm pushing the wax down and trying to get it underneath those super short hairs and so with this particular strip i didn't do a reverse lay i just did a reverse <laughs> i might have to come up with a different term but i never went back into the direction that it was supposed to be i just kept it 
as a reverse to get these like super coily hairs and as you can see from their strip they were really curved so that means they were just so curved back into the skin without actually going underneath the skin and so this part of the video is just to illustrate that i did tweeze now for my viewers who love the tweezing videos i'm gonna have to start doing something special for y'all because the tweezing itself can just be content by itself so when i'm doing these waxing videos it's hard to put the tweezing in with it because i've already done so much editing so i'm gonna have to just start doing some tweeze only video so after tweezing for a little bit i'll see you know if i notice there's a patch of hair there's gonna be too much tweezing i'll go back with some wax and that's what you've seen with this strip and that was like way too many hairs to tweeze so as you can see on this strip so sometimes you have to go back in and do another wax link now on this side you can see she has hair. It doesn't look like a lot, right? It doesn't look like she has a lot of hair. But you will be surprised. Again, with the hair being so short, I had to go against the grain. And look how those hairs are raising up. I want to do like a quick instant replay, but I want to do it in slow motion. So watch this. Watch how the hairs just lift up because I'm going underneath the growth. I'm going against the grain. And that's how you could tell if you're going with the grain or against the grain. The hair is going to lift up. So here I only did one lay. I'm like, didn't even think about it, you know. And this is what happens. It will stretch a softer film type wax. This is a film wax. So it will stretch the wax, right? But look at all those curly hairs. And people always say, you didn't let the wax sit. But this wax is set. It's just the type of wax against this type of hair. Um, Generally, you know, you wouldn't use this type of hair. But this type of wax for such thick coarse hair but i love easy wax because you know it just does its thing and i'm glad i don't know why i didn't think to i have to start putting abolish on during during the day because i'm i'm selling it all and i'm not using it <laughs> because it's like okay they buy you know you guys thank you first first of all this is not a complaint but thank you so much for the support and purchasing the abolished wax but i don't want to be using it on my clients like i i order way more than enough but it still sells like it's just like i'm gonna to have to do a, a leap of faith take a leap of faith and just buy an extreme amount of it um but yeah and it just subconsciously i've been using easy for so long i really love it and i just never think to warm up abolish but i will be doing abolish waxing uh waxing with abolish wax rather on this friday for my 100 celebrate 100k event so definitely um if you're going to be around you can watch on your lunch break if you're at work on friday or if you just it's your day off come hang out um on friday the 28th throughout the day we're going to be live and the one thing that i do want to say and i'm getting off topic here but the one thing that i do want to say is we may not be doing hirsutism waxing i think i have hirsutism waxing on my books the last appointment of the day is a brand new client so i'm not sure she's going to be open to being filmed i will see when she comes but for the most part the waxing is going to be like underarm uh i'm going to do a brazilian but of course it's going to be off camera we'll be having conversations so it's a it's a diverse uh set of appointments that day but hopefully you know the lady at the end the, the the new girl i'm gonna meet hopefully she will be open to sharing her journey with you guys but i don't know and i'm not gonna pressure her but thank you so much as you can see we are near the end of this video um again i tweeze and i go back and check double check triple check quadruple check to make sure they don't have any hairs and they're always satisfied and this was a really great appointment so i'll see you in the next video Bye bye, bye.